Well, I didn't even have time to turn my camera on. Big old trout on the very first cast. Come here. Oh yeah. Nice beautiful trout. Right by the boat. Oh, shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, and he spit it. And he... Oh. Well, look at that. He was hooked underneath his lip. Beautiful trout. Well, March 8th. Got a beautiful sunrise coming up. Got two trout in the box already. Looks like it's a slack tide right now. See how this wind holds out, whether or not we go out into the bay and chase reds today. Well, the trout bite was kind of slow. Picked up two fish right at daylight and then it shut down. I'm gonna cross across my little bay here and uh, looking at Google Maps, I found a couple little cuts that I haven't checked out yet. I want to try. Looks like uh, where Grand Bayou dumps out into this bay. Looks like a couple little redfish spots. So I'm using Google Maps to help find a good fishing spot. Pre-scouting in a way. So here's the public launch at Port Sulphur in the top right. Come across the little bay here and I found this cut on the left side of the screen here. Here's the entrance. So here's where I picked up the first red right on this shallow and they were tailing all the way down the length of this cut. On the uh, left side of the screen, this is Grand Bayou coming down and emptying out at the very south end of Grand Bayou. So you can see all these little pockets and, and uh, potholes in here. A uh, good way to pre-scout your fishing trip before you go out. Google Maps. Okay, so we got a redfish tailing right out there. Might have hit it. Nope. Came after it, he didn't take it. Looks like they're chasing little minnows. Gotcha. Oh, coming right at me. So we got a bunch of them tailing in here, but it's dead shallow. Beautiful. That's a good eater too. I hear another one somewhere. So I found a spot. They're up in here and they're tailing. But there's a lot of this angel hairy grass on the bottom that makes it really tough to, to get them. Uh, too shallow for the drive. Man, 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 he got in the net and rolled. And this is supposed to be a tangle free net. Get him off. Get my hook. There we go. 
Beautiful redfish, beautiful eating size. Now look, look for some more tails. All right. I'll tell you what, that's red fishing at its funnest. Sighting them and uh, casting to a tail and red fish. Looks like there might be a few more way back up in here. And once I got past that initial shallow, I'm actually able to put my drive back in and stroke. I know I passed three. See all the grass on the lure? I passed three tail and fish on my way in that wouldn't hit. Boy, you know they're up in there. This is a new spot for me. Look at this big old cypress log. Wow. We got a red up here feeding on the left. He ain't come up in a minute though. It looks like another one all the way in the back of the canal. There he is. Spooked him. There's two of them right here. can't see me. How can they be right by me like that? And miss them. <laughs> Not ready yet, huh, buddy? There we go. Now you're ready. Well, that was an unexpected red beating the bushes along the bank and uh, not even watching. And he come and picked up my lure. Good eating size. Beautiful fish, really. Beautiful fish. Boy, it's tough fishing today. It seems like the water is shallow everywhere. Fish ain't biting. Can't seem to find them. Found a bunch of reds earlier in that pocket and uh, it was so shallow and full of grass it couldn't sneak up on them and then when you did sneak up on them the instant you cast your lure would coat with grass making the uh, effort and futility out of it. I'm going to go back in the pond and troll. Put the old trolling rigs out and see what happens. <laughs> a little otter buddy. <laughs> hey Mal. Hey pal, don't be afraid. Thank you. 
right, let's see what we got in the death chest today. We got two, two big trout we caught this morning. Two reds. Two more trout. Tommy give me this trout, so I got three trout and two reds today. Tough, tough fishing day. But the power boats are coming in with nothing. So, just goes to show you, sometimes it takes a kayak to get them. Well, got out here this morning in the kayak, and uh, we had a pretty strong cool front come through the last couple days see if it uh, changed the fish pattern for some more fish inland but the water dropped out on the north wind and the fishing was extremely tough ended up with two red fish and three speckled trout the trout were biting real good in the dark had like four or five hits in a row and then as soon as the uh, sun started to break the horizon they just shut down caught one more trout later in the day trolling just to see if I could pick up anything <coughs> Tough day, but still successful. Until the next video, get out there and go fishing.